Hello everyone, good morning. This is going to be a short video, so a very warm welcome. Uh, this is going to be on a very uh, confusing usage of uh, two words. Okay, we often get confused and uh, so I thought that uh, I must clarify, right? So uh, here goes, but before proceeding further, let me welcome you to Eloquent English and Enterprise, my channel. Uh, I have been trying to upload as many good videos and relevant ones as possible. But sometimes I guess it's not to the liking of my viewers. Anyhow, another small effort. Now here today we are going to discuss the usage of who and whom and whose, all right? So, and whose also of two types. So who is a pronoun which is a subject pronoun. So it refers to the person who is performing a certain action. The girl who sang, okay? So it's the girl who sang. So for her, it's going to be who. She's the subject pronoun. Now, whom is the object pronoun? So when we are talking of the person or the noun on whom a certain uh, action is being performed, then we use whom. The boy whom you sent to school yesterday is my friend's son. So I'm talking of somebody else. So he happens to be the object. So who is for the subject pronoun? Whom is for the object pronoun? Then we come to whose, W-H-O-S-E. This is a possessive pronoun which shows or which tells you uh, that something belongs to somebody. Whose hat is that? I want to see the girl whose uniform is not proper. So this is a personal uh, pronoun, uh, which refers to something possessively. And if we have W-H-O apostrophe S, it is just a shortened form of who is, who's there. That means who is there, who's done this, who has done this. So it is who is or who has. So that was all for today. See you again with something more relevant, something more interesting, something more exciting. See you soon. Bye-bye. Take care. And thank you for watching Eloquent English Enterprise. Bye.